We just yeah, had a really tasting where we compared a hundred dollar no. bottles of wine to less than a hundred dollars <laughs> bottles of wine, and we got a hundred percent right. But okay. some of them were harder than others. We're gonna go around and talk yeah. about our experience, Lauren. Okay, so. I think for me, one of the takeaways uh, was course. that the difference between the, basically the less expensive wine, you know, roughly $20, 20 to $30 a bottle, compared to $100 a bottle was, well, slight. And that, <laughs> you know, that I think personally, I think that's evidence that we live in a golden age of wine. That for. Twenty, thirty dollars a bottle. You can have wine that is far superior to anything that the Romans and Greeks had. Oh, yes. <laughs> yes. I'm pretty. Uh, that uh, is absolutely true. <laughs> yes. thing, everybody. And what I found in tasting the different t priced wines is that your lower priced wines, while they might be drinkable today and they're delicious, the the wines that uh, may have been a little bit more tannic or uh, uh, have some different aromas that really hadn't settled down yet are ones that would be better if they were laid down for two three years um, and they and of course the the wines that we felt that were more expensive were more complex in flavor um, but it was a really fun experience it was <laughs> Okay, anybody else want to say anything yeah. brilliant? I was kind of afraid to be wrong about <laughs> guessing which same, one same. was the same. most expensive one, but I have to admit that we all were right about right which on. one yeah. was the more expensive one. The cheaper one was, although great, uh, the one... You could tell the too. difference. Yeah. You could tell yeah. the difference. Still just not as complex. Right now, but just not as complex as the one that was not as uh, age -worthy. meant to age for a few more years. So it was really great experience. Cheers! 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 Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> uh, I would say, though, one of the things that was a difference is, is that you clearly could tell in the in the more pricier one was the opacity was it was less you could um, you could see that there was there was complexity in there and it can talk about laying them down for more years or better yet you need to let them open up over a couple of hours before you drink them and what about the bubbles and the bubbles, bubbles. yes yeah. now that, <laughs> is, that is a real discovery they oh, the you bubbles guys, wine. that is so yeah. real wine. all yeah. of the more expensive wines had more bubbles when we lasting poured it. Bubbles, mm -hmm. right? Lasting bubbles when we yes. poured it yeah. into the decanter. Very yeah. interesting. Oh, true. true. And we have a hummingbird mama Tim, feeding her mama. Deborah, Tim, do you guys want to say anything? Um, I found that the, the complexity of the more expensive wines was real relative to the cheaper wines, but uh, the need to mature and age in those number of years was uh, was greater. And uh, we're looking at the hundred to hundred twenty dollar range in general versus uh, forty to ten dollar range. I mm -hmm. believe we covered in the cheaper wines that actually Did may it. have been better table wines at the moment of our tasting. Yep. Yeah. Yes, Deborah. Yeah. Deborah, you get to say the final words. I would like to say, as a concept, the idea of hosting a wine tasting party where you are tasting um, a $100 or approximately $100 version of a bottle of wine and then comparing that with a wine that um, those of us who know wine would find comparable but at a much lower price is a great concept for a party. Uh, so I would suggest to any of you who would want to have a party that this is a great concept. So invite a lot of friends tell them the parameters of the wine, break out a lot of food, a lot of food, because you're going to be drinking a lot of wine, <laughs> and, and have a fun time. Everybody brings two. Cheers! <laughs>